A commute to work on the yellow line took a horrible turn for dozens of people. You can see part of the CTA train smashed after a collision with a railroad snowplow. We have live team coverage on this breaking news tonight, updating the investigation into what happened from the ground and the sky and hearing how all the injured people are doing. We begin here at 10 with CBS 2's Maribel Gonzalez live in Rogers Park. Maribel. Yeah, Joe and Erica, new audio we obtained appears to show that some were aware that that snow machine was on the tracks and even possibly tried to issue a warning. Now, what happened following that and in the moment right before the crash, that's still yet to be determined. First, a warning. Control operator 591, 591, stop your train, please. Then, a little over a minute later. They have uh, made contact with... Uh, some tap or some equipment uh, at Chicago, the rear of the equipment, which has caused injuries on the train at this time. Audio from the CTA control tower we obtained shows another warning possibly came even earlier, more than an hour before a yellow line train traveling south near the Howard Station in Rogers Park would slam into a CTA snow machine at around 1030 Thursday morning. Please make sure you get the attention of the personnel once again. That's from Howard. Oakton personnel is on the right of way. The CTA has not explained why the machine used to clear the tracks of snow in the winter time was on the tracks. For accidents like this to happen, you need multiple things to occur. Joe Schwederman, expert in the field of transportation from DePaul University, weighing in. Why those signals didn't turn red or the motorman uh, ran right through that. And typically, uh, you slow down coming into the Howard Station, maybe to 25. The top speed on the Swift is, is 55. Uh, but boy, that's a worst case scenario right around that curve. Not enough time to stop. And uh, usually uh, just visual cues are enough to stop an L train, but not today. The placement of that machine also a concern. If trains hit, you know, sort of bumper to bumper, frame to frame, uh, it's a lot less devastating here than having this odd shaped equipment which punctured that front of that train. That collision injuring 38 people on board, 23 of whom ended up at the hospital. None of those with life threatening injuries, according to the Chicago Fire Department. We've got to be able to make sure we can put parameters in place. Now, some lawmakers also calling for an investigation. What is it that they want, that you want them to look into? How we got here, what, what, what happened, what, what occurred uh, to make this collision possible? Were there things that we could have done differently? Now, we've also taken those questions to CTA, but so far, no answers. The National Transportation Safety Board telling us they're investigating with a team expected to be arriving to Chicago tonight and here on the scene by tomorrow morning. Reporting live in Rogers Park, Maribel Gonzalez, CBS 2 News. Betty Bell, thank you.